the linkage program is a, a program set up to provide opportunities for ex-offenders who want to change their behaviour in offending, who want to move on to financial independence. And that program is set up by the probation service to ensure that a professional body of people would be able to provide that guidance for ex-offenders and move them to the objective of, of employment. We have as our objective the desistance from crime and integration into the community. But we ourselves, the criminal justice system, can't integrate. We need people within the community to actually afford opportunities for our clients to integrate back into society. And the most uh, a fundamental group within the community is business. If somebody comes in off the street, for instance, uh, sends a CV to an employer, all they have to go on is this CV. Whereas with us, they have an extensive history and, uh, and a lot of other things, and a very motivated individual who's been through the mill and recognizes that they're being given a chance and will never forget it. I didn't see it any different than employing any other employee. I mean, my perspective on employing employees and my experience has taught me it's a lottery at the best of times and therefore all things been equal, I didn't see any additional challenges and I certainly didn't have any preconditions about it. Well, the reason why I suppose that the linkage programme has, has made my life better is because today I consider myself to be, and it's strange for me to say this, an, an upstanding member of society, something I never was before. The role of the Training and Employment Officer is to provide guidance and placement services to people coming through the courts. Uh, the idea behind it is that guidance and placement will end in employment and that means they will be integrated into the society and hence desist from crime. So with the clients they ask what next and what stands in your way. The type of thing that stands in the way might be addiction, homelessness, many issues, uh, education, but it is to kind of work through those issues so that the client gets what they want and hence leads a more meaningful life for them. Eventually I, I, I went and I achieved a diploma which was I couldn't believe it, like, you know, I never had anything like that in my life, like, you know, um, I think the most I ever had was, um, I think years ago when, uh, living in Dublin, I, I'm five-a-side football or something, you know, when I was a young lad, but I never achieved anything, like, diploma was a big thing for me, and, and this all came about by just going in and meeting with the linkage officer and going through certain aspects, and this is where I am today, it's absolutely amazing, you know, we have a fantastic life. For the first time ever, they've been asked, um, who are you and what you want? Nobody's ever asked them that before. So that in itself, we find that clients might come to us and just not be ready to you know, move on with it. But they remember. They remember their conversation with the training and employment officer. And they remember some of the questions they've asked. Who are they? What do they want to do next? What stands in their way? And they imagine themselves. They imagine possibilities for the first time. And then they come back, and it's a powerful thing. Since it has started in 2000, over 5,500 people have been referred to the program, of which 4,000 engaged. Now it has to be successful, we think, from the point of view that 75% of those people have been placed. Not alone have we found a first-class employee, but probably more loyal and more conscientious than most of our other employees. And as I said, I have probably benefited from giving him the opportunity and seeing him flourish as he has been. Mm -hmm.